Hey, welcome back people, Gagan the side. And today we are going to make this scene. From this to this. Uh, this scene is pretty much liked by many people as uh, it's kind of a soothing and uh, pretty much pleasing scene due to the environment, due to the lighting stuff. Actually, it's a scene from my client in the USA. So I just did a post production on it as uh, I'm a post production artist. So let's begin. First of all, yep, this is the scene. This is the raw editor. The greens are too much saturated for me, and uh, this grass is over desaturated for me. So it's kind of a okay scene. So let's begin. But first of all, uh, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe it and uh, just click the red button under the video and also the bell icon. Uh, just uh, click on this so that you can have a notification for my upcoming tutorials and uh, which will be beneficial for you. Here I will provide a post production tips and tricks, tutorials, etc. And uh, also you can check my Facebook page. Here I publish my personal as well as my freelance work. So let's begin here. First of all, we need to choose a sky. And uh, luckily I got a good sky from Google itself, uh, Google Images. And then, then the elements. What I choose is it's a refraction. I just uh, choose a refraction first. Then again refraction on selected areas just to highlight it i just painted out the areas which i don't want in black and put it on screen with 69 percent of capacity huh, 69 <laughs> okay uh, forget it so uh, this is the reflection uh, reflection pass and uh, this one is z depth a z depth plays an important role in the scene just to show the depth and as well as to make scene bit more realistic because in real environment there is a haze kind of uh, stuff in uh, in nature so the next one is lighting just apply the lighting pass uh this is the extra text extra text to darken the areas to give a contrast feel in the trees uh, as well as in shadows area uh just a bit more contrasty view it it looks pleasing right so that's it and again the i copied the uh, extra text and darken the area of grass as it's look much more much more contrasty as well as uh, much more depth you can feel much more depth here so yeah so i just placed uh x -Rex in it this one is uh, uh well i don't know whether you can see it or not it, here's a person sitting inside the car so this is uh, just a normal cut out of the people person so this is the element stuff and after that the as usual curves which is very much more important to make your scene look good. I applied a curves. Okay, not showing. Right. So this is a curve. See how much depth we got from the curves. So this this is the reason curves are like a magic tool for us. So yeah, just a just a curve on a on cutting the reflection. Just a curve from the render IDs or for from the wire color. So just uh, by selecting the for example, we want to correct the th this tree, so we took the barker and uh, just make a curves adjustment layer, and this is what we got. And we can adjust it by just doing normal S curve or whatever we want we want to feel doing it. Like by adjusting the red values, desaturating it, or like we can do many stuff from this just a normal usual curve. So this is it. Uh, this is the curves, and the next one is. Okay, it's a, it's a just a painted uh, sun rays kind of stuff, just a normal paint on a, a new new layer of, and this one is again the rays. I just uh, just took a rays image from the Google itself and just placed here to give little uh, little sun rays from uh, just sun rays from behind the trees and from the hollow between the trees and. Uh, this one is also the painted layer of uh, orange color. Just uh, just make a new layer, choose the color, whatever you want to feel like. As I took orange color, just apply the color. And here we go, put it on screen. Or you can choose a different blending mode if you feel like. So this is what I did. Just a normal paint or color, paint or a layer. Next is uh, the girl. It's a girl going around with his dog just to get some perspective in the scene first people uh, like if you if you will put the people in the scene it 
gives a much more perspective as well as uh, makes the series look good so the next one what i did is selective color just adjust the color according to your needs like ev- every color whichever you want uh, to make it make your scene look good or not so just selective colors then i choose color balance again same eyeball it like whatever you feel like putting the color putting the tone of a scene as whatever you choose so this then this one is curves just to highlight the flowers so that it will pop out in front of because it's very near the camera so it's better to make it pop out the next one is hue and saturation just normalize uh, it desaturated it and uh, as you can see it's a uh, completely minus 100% desaturated and i put it on soft light with 19 of opacity and yep and the next one is okay what is this yeah it's a it's a butterfly just to give a realism maybe you can see it or not let me zoom it a bit here it is it's a butterfly just a butterfly just to make it seem look good and the next one is magic bullet looks which will give a awesome result see this is the magic bullet like on 65% opacity it's a very easy to use as well as it's a, it will go you see it looks pretty much awesome taste so yep this is it what we did is uh, from this we made this which is kind of a decent scene so i know the shadows are too dark here but uh, that's like it's personal taste you can make it a little bright also by by curves but not uh, making so hard as curve so, yeah that's it so uh, make sure to subscribe my channel guys and also share with your friends if you like it do comment below uh, like what what's more you want to see and uh, and yeah see you next time bye bye cheers